how y'all feel Cause I feel so awesome How you feel awesome I guess that awesome You fine and your yeah awesome Wanna roll awesome Let's go awesome yeah. Hands in the sky like I'm A-W-E Some call me awesome Some call me, call me busy Call me awesome Gator on my shirt it's opening day all around the NBA. We're happy to be with you as we tip off the season with Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. This is Kevin Harlan. We're looking forward to another fantastic year. Opening night and time for our State Farm lineups. First for the Bobcats. Gilbert Arenas is out there with Kemba Walker. And the man in the middle at the center, the big guy, Greg Oden. He's a big part of that presence down low. Then it's Maggetti, and it's Biombo at the four slot. And looking at the Orlando Magic, Nelson and Richardson are manning the backcourt. And it's Dwight Howard locking down the middle. He is the definition of a superstar and is always a major factor. Then it's Hito Turkoglu, and it's Anderson in at the power forwards position. Well, the Southeast Conference got a little tougher last year. In fact, a lot tougher. What is up YouTube, it's your boy Mims and I'm coming back at you guys with another commentary. So this is my very first association game, I'm playing the Orlando Magic at Amway Arena and Dwight Howard dunks it nasty on Corey Spaghetti Maggetti. But um, anyways you guys, you know, some people were questioning my trade, why would Mims trade as Biombo got the nice dunk, not dunk, but laying in there. Why would Mims trade for Greg Oden? Why give up Tyrus Thomas with so much upside? Why give up DJ Augustine, who's a great point guard, for Greg Oden and a num and two number one picks? By the way, if you um, my association messed up after the trade, so I had to redo the trades. I tried for another number one pick from the following year, and now I'm in possession of Portland's. 2012 and 2013 number one pick and I signed Gilbert Arenas so Gilbert Arenas kind of gets some revenge in this game but I don't want to spoil anything for you guys so my logic with the Greg Oden trade was let's start over Greg Oden isn't that bad in 2k12 you know he has some upside he's only a 70 overall and then worst comes to worst he's an expiring contract so we could see how he pans out for us. Anyways, we do need a center. The Bobcats don't really have a good center. And it's a cap uh, cap saving move. So I was thinking to myself, why not? It's a perfect, perfect idea. Kemba Walker is the future of our franchise. Not Bismack Biombo. As much as I'm trying to improve him, which is why I'm starting him. Because I think we're go we should tank anyways. You know, our best player is Kemba and Corey Maggetti. So we should try. Uh, we should be tanking as much as possible right now. Why not start Bismack Biombo and get some of that valuable experience on the floor? And that's exactly what I'm doing right now. Greg Oden is doing a great job for us so far in this game. And let me know how you guys think because uh, what you guys think as Gilbert Arenas gets the nastiness dunk over here. So let me know what you guys think of my moves so far. Obviously, they're very Michael Jordan-like moves. Nah, I'm kidding. But it's really, I feel like these moves will make us good as a team in about a year or two. I think we, I, I see us doing, uh, making it to the playoffs next year, or depending on who we draft and how the offseason goes. But as of now, I think we're laying a good foundation for ourselves. And so far, my goal this year is Kemba Walker should win Rookie of the Year. Greg Oden, if possible, would be nice to win Most Improved Player Award. If not, it's whatever. We need to sign or draft a good power forward. I'm using legitimate rosters. And look at that. That was a nice three right there. Kemba Walker on fire. But we do need to draft a new um power forward and the small forward would be nice not a necessity um my how i'm envisioning this team is eventually i want to bring out bring off gerald henderson off the bench if he doesn't develop that well if he could get himself to at least an 80 overall the very very good then all right but i don't want this team to be a team 
filled with rookies with generic faces. You know, I used to do that, and I could imagine that being very, very boring. So don't look to me, uh, look at me for don't ah ah don't look for me drafting all these um, players like Anthony Davis and then trading for Harrison Barnes and everything, which like it might happen, but I doubt it. But look at me, look look forward to me trading those picks for a player, a high value player. You know, and one thing I don't like about this association is Kyrie Irving is very easy to trade for. He really should not be. I know my boy Coop took advantage of that and got him on the Hornets. I feel it's just too unrealistic. That's why I'm not trading for Kyrie Irving. He's like this year's Gerald Wallace. Last year, everyone started off their association with Gerald Wallace. And speaking about associations, I'm praying to God that that rumor isn't true about... Paul Gasol and Andrew Bynum for Dwight Howard, Hito Turkoglu, and Jameer Nelson. Honestly, I don't feel like uh, Dwight Howard is worth anyone but only Andrew Bynum. Andrew Bynum is a great player. We don't even need to trade for Dwight Howard. We need to trade for Ramon Sessions. Maybe Michael Beasley would be nice. And right now, the Rashid Wallace tr uh, signing for me was a huge head scratcher. I have no idea what they're doing. Jim Buss and Mike Brown are trying to destroy the Laker franchise. But the way I see it, and don't, I'm not saying this as a delusional Laker fan, I really don't see any other team uh, signing Dwight Howard or acquiring Dwight Howard but the Los Angeles Lakers, and if not, I see him staying in a Magic jersey. Do not quote me on this because I'm really terrible with these predictions. The only prediction I got correct was the, what's it called prediction? The Carmelo Anthony prediction. And that was pretty much an easy one. Like the LeBron James, uh, when LeBron James was making his decision, I'm like, ah, he's definitely going to stay. And look at that, Gilbert Arenas to Bismack Biombo. But I definitely think he's either going to stay or go to the Lakers. I don't think the Nets have the assets to acquire him. And I don't see him signing in. New and look at this play. I'm sorry, I had to interrupt myself. But I think this might have been one of my favorite plays of the entire... I love these kind of plays, and there's... Uh, all right, I should just get back to the commentary. I really think that the uh, Nets don't have the assets to acquire him. And the like, and I think I'm correct on that. Number one, they don't have a really high draft pick to offer. Number two, they gave away a lot of picks. A lot of picks for Darren Williams to begin with. And number three, besides, who would you rather have, Orlando? Brooke Lopez, Anthony Randolph, not Anthony Randolph, bleh, Anthony Morrow, um, like a bunch of Jordan Farmer, you know, like, who'd you, uh, who'd you rather, oh, maybe Marshawn Brooks, never mind. But who'd you rather have, Brooke Lopez, Marshawn Brooks, and all, the, uh, and like a couple of bad picks? Or Andrew Bynum surrounded by some picks. You either get the number two center in the NBA or like a number five center and at best a sixth man of the year, which is a very bold prediction. But regardless, those are my views on the trade. It is kind of biased, but again, I am a Laker fan. So I do think that they will get Dwight Howard if Dwight Howard is to leave Orlando to begin with. If Again, if he gets traded anywhere else, then... Good for Dwight. So my next video, I'm already getting on to that, you know, because we're waxing, we're waxing Orlando pretty badly, you know. Gilbert Arenas is mad. <laughs> but um, my next video, and look at this cheese fadeaway by Kemba Walker. He's a beast. But my next video is going to be released around this weekend and it's going to be the Lakers versus the Heat the one I was talking to you about if you guys could give this video at least 60 likes I would definitely upload that ASAP like at 12 a.m. on a Friday ASAP as I know you guys would like that and look at that fine Bismack beyond but what a beast who's only 56 overall and look at this I encountered the invisible ball so if you guys want to see Invisible Ball Part 1, it was in the very first video I did get an HD PVR for NBA 2K11. I could put the, I'll put the link in the description. 
you guys would really find comical but there's a difference in this uh, video that uh, with the invisible ball that the first one doesn't have and that is the fact that the ball does in fact come back so, uh, so if you guys want to see the invisible ball part one I'll put the link in the description very comical loved it hilarious no I didn't love it kill the game for me I wasn't even focused on the score at one point I'm like where the hell is the damn ball <laughs> but um anyways those are my opinions on oh look at that invisible dunk by Gilbert Arenas on what's going on in the NBA today who knows when the NBA trade deadline date is because I'm googling it I'm looking up everywhere and I can't find it and I feel like a terrible fan for not knowing <laughs> so if someone could let me know that'd be great if you like these association videos let me know I'll definitely come out with some more you know the fact that they're nine minutes get me uh, help me out and it's easy to upload and show almost every play or every major highlight that both team makes as opposed to my my player videos where I have to leave out some of the highlights but um anyways this video is about to come to a close as you can see we take a pretty good lead and hope uh, and it doesn't really look like they're about to come back you know Gilbert Reen is dancing on his former teammate Jameer Nelson he's about to do something nice I feel it pulls up for the three gets it and that is the dagger for the game unless if Tracy McGrady comes in like a Superman costume and scores like a bunch of points like he did that one time but it's not gonna happen so if you like this video please thumbs it up my next video is a my player video let me know what you guys think and these are my stats I had 10 assists with Gilbert Arenas and 24 points with Gilbert Arenas um, and um, anyways YouTube it's your boy Mims I'm out